Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting screencast. We are going to be solving this engineering mechanics a problem and it reads the ball is kicked from point A with an initial velocity V A is equal to 10 meters per second, determine the maximum height H it has it reaches. Solution. So in this particular problem we are dealing with horizontal and vertical motion and the acceleration is constant which in our case is g acceleration due to gravity so for vertical motion for vertical motion we are going to be using the same three equations of a motion which are y final is equal to y naught plus b naught by t plus half g t squared where our g is equal to minus 9.81 meters per second squared and then we have our v final will be equal to v naught plus g times t and then the derived, derived equation from the two will be v final squared will be equal to v naught squared plus 2g uh, y final minus y naught. For the horizontal motion, we are assuming the velocity in the horizontal direction is constant. Okay. and there is no acceleration acceleration is equal to zero so our x will be equal to x naught plus v naught times t g is i mean there's no acceleration there's no acceleration so this one just so it's the same equation and the only thing that we cancel out is the last component and our v is equal to v naught v final and our v squared is equal to okay so these are the equations we are saying the acceleration here is equal to zero and velocity is assumed constant from a to c okay so they are asking us here to find the maximum height h and there are a number of methods that we can use to do that and before we do that let's get the different components of this velocity given so we are going to have velocity VAX, VAX, which is going to be equal to 10 cos 30. And we'll have VAY, which is equal to 10 sine 30. All right. So for us to find the h, we are going to use the vertical motion. So which equations can we use? There are different ways of use, solving this, and I'm going to do maybe two. So we can use the two equations, or we can use this equation. So let's start with uh, the two equations, then we come and do this one. So first and foremost, for us to find h, which is the final height we we'll need to find the time because we don't have the time how long does it take to reach b you've seen this ball that has been kicked at a it has been given an initial velocity of 10 meters per second for it to reach b vertically <coughs> we need time okay so we can use this equation to find time b is equal to v naught plus g t our v our v is equal to this v final is equal to our v b which is equal to at this point by time this ball is reaching b this is the peak okay of this projectile path right 
So V final is equal to VB is equal to zero meters per second. And then our G is equal to minus 9.81 meters per second squared. So, and our V naught is equal to the vertical, which is B, v, v A Y, which is equal to 10 sine 30 degrees equal to 5 meters per second. Sine 30 is uh, 0.5 or half. So let's plug in all these values. We have 0 is equal to V naught is uh, 10. Uh, 10, 10 sine 30, which we've already found is 5, minus 9.81 T. And therefore, our T is going to be equal to, making T sub to the formula is 5, divided by, 5 divided by 9.81. We find T as 5 point, um, 0 point, 0 0.51 okay seconds so this is the time that it takes for the ball to reach this maximum uh, height okay so let's now use this equation here y is equal to y naught plus v naught T plus half G T squared. What do we have here? Um, this Y will be equal to H. What else? Y naught at this A at this point is equal to Y A which is equal to zero. There's no displacement there. And then V naught, we already know it is um, 5. We calculated it here. It's the same VAY. It's VAY, which we calculated is 5 meters per second. Right? Um, T, we just calculated it right now, is equal to 0 0.51 seconds. And our G, we know it is a constant, is minus 9.81 meters per second squared. So we have all the information. Can I wrap this? Can I wrap? Okay, thank you. I'll leave this other equation that we need to use as our alternative. So therefore, H is going to be equal to, H, this one, is equal to, this is zero, that's what we've said. Since this one here is zero, it is zero plus V naught is five times what is T? T it is zero point five one. What is um the other one? So this one is going to be minus one over two by nine point eight one by T again squared. Okay, so H is going to be equal to grab your calculator 5 by 0 0.51 um, minus 0 0.5 by 9.81 by 0 0.51 squared. So this gives me a 1.27 a 1.27 meters. So that is the height. Okay, so we use the first two equations that we found H. Can we use another one? Let's try this one. Okay. Uh, v squared is equal to V naught plus 2GY minus Y naught. Okay. What do we have here? We have our V. Okay. Our V at this point is we are calling it VB which is equal to 0 meters per second. What else? We have a V node. We already calculated it as what? 5 meters per second. Okay. 10 sine 30 is 5. Okay. This is equal to 5 meters per second. Our G is equal to 9.81 meters per second squared. 
we have y and that's what we are looking for which is h okay all right and then we have y node which is equal to zero meters with all this information we can start our calculations all right so this is going to be zero is equal to b node squared this is an alternative equation by 2 i of course minus 8.1 then we have y which is h minus y node we say this what zero all right so now making h subject to the formula this is going to be h is equal to 5 squared divided by 2 by 9.81 therefore my h is going to be equal to um, 5 squared divided by 2 by 9.81 I'm finding a 1.27 meters so see depending on whichever equation as long as you know what you are doing you should be able to arrive at this answer h is equal to one point to seven uh, meters okay I hope the video is helpful uh, bye bye and see you in my next uh, screencast